Welcome to Warblog. Today we're going to look at Masid, Iraq. Um, essentially this is a Turkish operation to remove PKK units from the Turkish-Iraq border. Um, it's interesting really because they've been doing this for years um, going into northern Iraq so it's sort of pretty much like all the other ones. Um, I'm just going to play it. It's quite easy, um, quite easy to set up. So I'm not going to sort of go too far into it. The, the only thing I'm sort of thinking about is that are there too many units? Um, I, mean, I don't think there should be any question that the Turkish armed forces can't push them out. Um, they're, they're just the regulars. Um, I haven't put any artillery in. It's all sort of. It, it's a bit. It's a, it's a bit sort of. Um, unclear as to whether or not it's all mountain or very very hilly um, it appears to be sort of this area appears to be more of a valley or in the sense that it's not as peaked as the area say over here and over here um, but I still put them as mountains um, but these are mountain units so we've got six basically with some uh, helicopter support um, and so basically they should be able to you know really push through these units but there will be sort of um, well, there will be a bit tough because it's all mountain terrain. But the irregulars, although they will be, they will get their five against a, a unit on its own. Um, it's hardly an excessive odds. For example, if there were ones, it would be five to one. But this, you know, the maximum they can get is a one to one, really. Um, and then when you factor in the um, the, the terrain, the, the PKK, the, the regulars really won't be able to sort of do much in the way of counter strikes, but this is massive down here, and so basically by the time these units, will, if they would retreat, for example, if we were to play sort of two versions, um, I mean, for example, we could fight for each village, or we could um, we could retreat everyone back. like that and essentially form a very solid line there I mean that would be possible but I'm just going to sort of just give it a basic introduction if you want to play and go through some variants then then, then you can um, so let's see what damage we can do to the irregulars that I haven't put any artillery, as I said, um, or, or air power. Uh, they might have some air power, but the article doesn't mention it, so I assume they probably have some helicopter support. Um, I'm not sure how big a sort of operation this is. I can't detect any road networks through this area either. Uh, so it, it's probably all sort of being done on foot, but got, we've got a bit of damage there. Um, I mean, this irregular unit really doesn't stand a chance. It's going to be a seven. Oh look, <laughs> it does stand a chance because because we're out of um, movement. I, think, I thought we would get a bit more in, in, in there. So anyway, so what do they do? Well, I think we're actually... Well, let's pull back. There we go. So now it's the Turkish player move again. Oh, I know why they all went to zero. Because they had to cross this river. That makes a bit more sense. Yeah, look, they've got, they've got movement. It takes them three movement to go through the mountains, so... Okay, so we're causing a little bit of damage there. Interesting to know what these odds are. I can't remember whether Let's have a look. Mountain D 
defence is that times 4? Well, we'll see, because if it's times 4, that will be 8 in defence. Yeah, and they're in a the village. Wow, and that was a bad dice roll. So they're pretty tough in the mountains. I didn't realise it was times 4. But there you go. We got... What was that? An exchange. So, yeah, it's not as easy as, as I thought it would be. Um, the Turkish don't like that. The irregulars won't be able to fight back, but... We've taken the village, destroyed the ca arms cache or whatever they might have there. Um, what are they going to do? Are they going to hold out? Possibly. Or we could fall back. I think we're going to sit there and recover. But also, the Turkish are going to recover. So, but now they're dug in. Not entrenched, they're dug in. So they're going to hold. And the Turkish, now, we should have maybe fired at them last time, but no worries. Um, They've recovered now, so they're no longer depressed, so that exchange has now been recovered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. First things first, I think. Send in some helicopters. I didn't give them any surface to air, any air defense. Point two, point one. Seems hardly worth it, but there you go. I was going to give them two helicopters, but they're not mentioned. I don't want to make it too overpowering. Ha! Ah, look at that. Two to one. It's getting tough. Okay. Well, I could move back in. Alternatively, I could retreat. Okay. Hmm. Move there to stop them just moving straight into there and then having a, an angle there, but. figured out if it does that, if I press the escape button, it will undo whatever I've dragged. It's my computer, it's got its touch screen and it just seems to want to drag everything about. There's a 1.2. And I've just done zero damage on him, leaving him at 1.2. Okay, so it should be 3 to 1. We've got a DR on that. Okay. It's going to get tough. Okay. Well. Let's move into there, and that's that. 
Okay, we're all in good order. This is going to be a tough one. I might go for some attrition first. Five. The nice thing about the attrition is, uh, I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure that the result it gives you is the odds. I kind of remember it's all a bit sort of. So that would have been a two to one attack. And with a two, I would have actually got a retreat on them, but I've got two damage, and that's what I wanted to do. But the two, the two to one is quite interesting. Okay, so it's the PKK, and they're just going to hold out there. Okay, so they've recovered, so they'll be down at 1.45. It's all about creeping those. Oh, they got us down to a quarter strength on that. Bit of um, bit of fifty cal action there, I imagine. Whoever those Russian DPK whatever's they are, strafing these helicopters. Helicopters don't move very fast. Okay. Do we want to go for another attrition? So he's dug in six, he'll be entrenched next turn. Let's go for it. They might make a mistake because they're overconfident with having caused some damage to the helicopters. But we push them out. That stops them entrenching. But we can't move in there now. But he can move back in. We still have some movement here, which means that we can at least do some attrition over here. And that will give us a sense for the odds. See, that will mean a one to one, no attrition. Okay. Well, they're getting weaker. 2.45. I mean, they could stay there and. They could stay there. And recover, or they can move back in here and cause a problem. I think I'm going to stay there and try and recover. Um, what I did realize is that I, I didn't take it out this hex I could have could have shuffled things around a bit and moved into that hex which would have given me an extra 10% but I didn't um, I don't want to press that one, do I? okay so we're gonna just hold so the Turks Well, they've now entrenched. So it's going to be more hard work getting them out. So we're going to go for nutrition first. It's still two to one, but with no result. Okay. The PKK are going to do nothing. See, now I'm sort of thinking, well, I could have been in there. I could have been still forcing the fight there, but now I'm here. They're going to recover. 
it says I'm not going to do anything. What we're going to do now, which was what I wanted to do last time, getting a, a greater surround. Let's see whether we can. No, not much. Only point one. It's hardly worth writing a postcard home about. We've got we got two on the attrition before, so point six. See, unless these things add up to more than one, they're just going to recover every turn. That'll stop him getting that surround. They're going to be in perfect order. Okay, well, that's more, more like it. So this is just sort of like small skirmishes, sniper fire, mortar fire. Point six. Oh, look at that. One point three. At least we've got something on him. Even though it's just point three, hardly worth it. Okay, well, they're not going to do anything. So again, point one three. Can go for another attrition. So it's very slow going. 1.6, that's more like it. He's on 1.7, so he's on 1.9. So they're going to just sit there, which means they recover. But they're not fully recovered now. He's on 0.7 and he's on 0.9. So we're starting. We need some good numbers now to sort of really snowball that effect. And that's not really good enough. We really need this attrition to count. Two, yes, that counted. Okay, so essentially the PKK now have a choice whether or not to sort of, I mean they've always had the choice, but I think, you know, this is what they're looking for, at what point do they just retreat? I mean they could force the retreat in the sense that they could force the Turkish to force them to retreat, knowing that because they're regulars they're probably likely to retreat. Which I think they're going to do. This is interesting, really, because it becomes a, a, a player psychology in the sense that, I mean, maybe to put it bluntly, it becomes quite boring to sort of play the long term and you feel obliged to do the short term, the short game, i.e. to just attack. And then you sort of think, well, you know, how does that happen in real real life? People, you know, they don't want to sit there doing attrition for sort of like forever and they get forced into an assault that fails. Does that happen? Let's see what we can do with this helicopter attack. 0 0.1, okay, not much. 2.2, 1.7. So, do we try an attack? I'm going to do another attrition to show my patience. Another big one. 1.4, that's not bad. 3.1, 3.6, so they'll recover one point this turn. And they're not going to move, so we've got eight more helicopter strikes. 
So that's going to be a factor, 0 0.2. Okay, let's go for the ground assault. I think it's a bit too soon, but we've only got eight helicopter strikes, and let's see what we can do. An exchange. KK are laughing. They're just going to sit there. Well, so are the Turkish Armed Forces. So they're going to be well and truly recovered now. 1.3. Should really round these up or round them down or just round them anyway. Okay, let's go for another one. After having recovered from that failure, which was reported in, and there you go, a one to one. Wow, what changed? What made that become a one to one? Well. They've been pushed back. We don't have enough to move in. And again, do we move back in? Do the PKK move back in? But they won't have. They won't have their um, entrenchments. 0 0.45, 2.7, 0 0.55, 2.16. Do they move back in? Why not? Let's move in with the less. That's quite a good move actually, because now these ones can recover. But these ones must have been hurt a while back because they've gone down. They're they're you know, they've fully they've done as much recovering as they can, but they're still at 0.45. So these ones are going to recover on this side. And if we reload, we'll probably find they're not entrenched anymore, which is uh, something a slight oversight. But okay. So in that turn, going to the Turkish turn, we're going to save the helicopters because we've only got six more strikes with them, and I want to save that for whatever we've got down here. I'm going to do a full assault because my patience is now lacking. Three to one and a DR. And the game can't move in. What I should really do is 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 do that assault with one less. Now the PKK, do they want us to continue playing that silly game? Maybe not. Let's let's make this defensive now. Okay, so we can finally take that. Well, it's going to be a, a push for the flanks. With attrition across the board. I wonder how this will work across the stream. Two to one, I don't think the stream effect is, is taking place, but then again it might not because it's just mortar and sniper fire, things like that, so the stream probably isn't having the same sort of defensive effect. And against this stack here. Nothing. 
nothing. So, we're saving the air power. Okay, well, they're running out of units to, um, to, to spread this. You can move into there. But they can't do anything about that hex. Okay, so Turkish. So they move both of them in. Attrition, point eight, which is not to two point four, point four five. 0.55, 1.3, and he's fresh. Almost forgot this one. This will give us a slight clue as to what the effect of the river will be. One to one, one damage. That's good, but on one to one, it's, I don't think the Turkish armed forces are really that heroic. You know, because they don't want to be suffering any unexpected losses. Okay. I think they're pretty much going to hold what they've got there. I'd always push round. I think I will. Is it point five five. Let's go for some more attrition. Point four. Go for some attrition here. Just need a bit of luck, really. We can keep that up next turn, that'll be good. Okay, okay. now we could move through there, but I really don't think that's going to be of any use, so we're going to hold that position. Okay. Okay. So we could move into there and try and generally flank. I think we're going to do that. Let's do some attrition here. successful. I'm going to use my helicopters in here. Commit one of my last six, 0.25, it's better than nothing. Because I want to do an att attack here. Ha! Two to one and a DR. And it's pushed him into the wrong place. That's not a bad thing. 
and got nothing to move into there, but it's not a big problem. Okay, well that was a successful manoeuvre. I should maybe have not used that. And they're going to move back in there, but they're not entrenched. Okay, let's continue this flank and keep him there. Two point eight. Oh no, wrong turn. Okay. Oh. Screwed that up. I'm actually going to do what I quite often do is just I'm going to put him back there and then leave that. Okay, so we're not going to move him and we're going to try this again. What's his depression? 1.8. Well, let's actually use our helicopters again. And I'm, I don't have a good feeling about this one, but I'm just going to do it. Let's hopefully get some damage. Yeah, that doesn't really constitute damage. We blew up their outdoor latrine, more like. Ah, two to one and an exchange. Okay, well that's not what I wanted, but I'm gonna use I'm gonna mount because I wanted to get the DR I knew it wasn't really gonna work. Um could have, but um and then move him in. Start sliding this around now. And do what I wanted to do there. Okay. So did the PKK try to block that approach? We can move there. I think we will actually move there. If he moves there, we can move there. I haven't tried any counter attacks on the PKK yet. I'm pretty sure that. It's pretty pointless thinking about that. So they should have four movements left, yeah, so. Okay. And we, by doing that we recovered, so that's sort of semi-fortunate. It's going to be another two to one. Oops. <laughs> oh. That was bizarre. Got an attack of a tree, but we didn't retreat. I wonder why that was. That needs to be looked into. Well, they've got no movement and they were depressed by it. We are going to move there. We're going to hold both of these positions. They're going to hold. 
I'm going to just go for a full recovery over here. So this is like a you know quite a few days of lull, a lull in activity. Back to the Turkish now. They've recovered. So these are recovered as much as they can. 1.6, 0.45, nothing. 1.3, 1.13, 0 0.55. 0 .5. So this is pretty intense fighting. Well, let's go for an attrition. Not risking another one to one. Point eight. We we'll go for an attrition here. Point eight. It's quite an exciting game, actually. I. I, I um, never sees, never, never sort of ceases to amaze me how in, how sort of involved and, and to some extent exciting some of these really simple games can be. I'm not sure though that the Turkish forces should be having this sort of difficulty, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Really, they are just games. Okay, well, I think we're going to move them into there. Maybe we should have done that before. Okay, so we've got two points of attrition here that we need to just keep doing until something crumbles. No effect which means that this one would probably be a little bit more likely to have an effect although let's push him there go for some attrition oh, I didn't press the attrition button but one to one unfortunately an exchange Okay, they're not going to do anything, so they can recover this turn, so they're not going to do anything. So we've got one attrition roll here, make sure I press the attrition button. 0.8, seems to be a recurring pattern. They're not going to do anything. So the battle for um, Massid is intense, I'm sure it's not this intense in reality. We're going for attrition here. Nothing. No attrition here. Nothing. Hmm. Maybe I should give the Turkish some reinforcements because it's obviously this situation that's going to happen eventually. But I think part of the problem, part of the issue is Turkish armed forces keeping their integrity because they're still at depression zeros. I mean, these have got permanent depression factors, so that has an effect. Okay, so we've done that. And it could be at this stage that they sort of say, well, okay, well, we've got most of this sort of area and the Massid is, is besieged, but they're not going to go any further without reconsidering the situation. Nothing. Need a, need a breakthrough somewhere. Attrition. 1.4. So that's good. Yeah, we 
go down to two, but so it should be on two now, but that's going to be their minimum. So we need some more attrition here. Point two, that's hardly worth it. One, we'll recover that. Nice big number, but they're still as good as nothing. Okay, we'll go for another attrition here. I mean, this is only the outskirts. One. One. Okay, I'm going to change my strategy just slightly. Let's start pushing on Massive itself. See whether that forces them to do anything different. Still continue here. Keeping pressure on. Nothing. Okay. So. Do they feel threatened here? It's interesting really because... If the PKK move there and there, th that will open up this line to these two units. If they don't, they're going to have four units against that one, possibly lose Massid. I don't think they want four units against one. So that was a strategic vary, variation, and I have to sort of wonder whether or not I just had a bias in doing that, considering playing both sides, but I don't think so. Okay, so we can't get the four to one, but we can now move this over the river. I'm going to leave them there. Well, I could push him down here actually, and let's put get some attrition going through here. One to one. Okay. I mean, I was gonna. I did think of pushing him there, but if I push him there, just move into there. I'd have to slide everything around, and that would leave that space open. No. Results. We just need to push him out once, but once he puts everything in there, it'll just get really intense. No attrition. OK, 
Okay, well, got some choices now. Do they reinforce that stack in any way? Or allow the threat of four against one? I'm going to leave it for the time being. So, let's do an attrition roll. Two damage, that's what they needed. And they're back up to the two to ones. Oh, didn't want to do that. Oh, fortunately, that was an exchange <laughs> of all things. Okay. Do they want to reinforce? No. Let's see what damage we can do with the helicopter. If we can get over one, it might be worth. No. Let's see if we can do another two damage. That would be good. One. That wasn't much use. Okay, they're still not going to move. Another attrition attack. I think the odds are in Turkish favour, but it's very slow progress. 2 Oh, that was good. 3.2 Okay, so they're going to recover. But if it goes any higher than that, they're going to, have to start moving units around. Let's get some more attrition in there. No, we didn't need that. Okay, so then that'll be a one point two. lost the edge there. It's just going to be a case of constantly doing this till we get to the next level. It looks as though that's their minimum now. Two. Okay, we need one more go at that. Let's push in some more, some air power. So we can knock that up a bit. Oh, 
Well, it's not too bad. The connection's getting a bit slow now. We've got 50 minutes, so I can't do more than now anyway, so. In that turn. Okay, I think 3.6, they don't want to, they'll be at 2.6, they don't want to afford another because I think what we're going to do next is attack, and I think the PKK are expecting that possibly. And so they've got to give up something. 1.13, 1.6, maybe giving up this one here. That will make it suddenly a lot harder to take Massid, but we've lost that hex. So, how does that change things? Well, I think clearly we're going to get that flank now. We've only got two more airstrikes, but we'll use one now because we're so close to an hour on the video. And what I'm going to do is a surprise assault. I don't think Turkish would do this, and I don't think they would be having so much of a problem. I should really put in some sort of some sort of reinforcements for um, you know, like turn twenty or something like that, just to sort of stop this happening. Um, but we're going to go for an attack. I don't know what the odds are going to be. Don't want to think. So let's just do it. They're not retreating on these attack and retreats. I don't know why. I think, I think the problem is you can't retreat into a mountain hex. I think that's the problem. Or only only infantry can retreat into a mountain hex, and these are mountain infantry, so they're not included. So maybe that's the issue. But I'm going to leave it at that. And. Um, it's quite interesting really, I mean we're at turn 45 of all things, um, so what they could possibly do with is some more, I'm going to give them another helicopter, it's not much but I think it will, it will sway the edge, I think Masood is always going to be a sticking point but if you can possibly somehow destroy some of these irregulars earlier on in the game um, it's I think it's quite interesting what was that what are the odds on that last battle one to one uh, 19 versus 11 I mean the, th the thing is that that is just gonna once they get all their units into that that's just gonna be you, you, you know they really they're not even gonna have attrition on their side um, maybe they can surround the hex, I've only got enough to surround it, but, okay, well that was quite interesting, I thought this, oh this will be just like a, a 15 minute game, I'll just get this out while I have a cup of coffee, of course my coffee's cold now, and it's nearly an hour later, um, I hope you enjoyed that, I did, um, if you think that you can um, get massed before turn 45, or within an hour, then sign up and give it a go. I'll um I'll speak to you later. Cheerio.